If you thought your job doing the bow, the pit, tactics, or even helming the boat was difficult enough at Cowers Week, have you considered what it would be like to try and do all of those by yourself? We went out with top British Figaro sailor, Alan Roberts today, to get his top tips on sailing and racing shorthanded. Alan, you've had a pretty busy year this year, haven't you? What, what, how did your result go in the solitaire? Yes, I had a good, uh, good solitaire year this year, my second year. Um, came ninth overall um, and top Brit, uh, British result this year in the solitaire. And can you describe what it is about this fleet that is so interesting and why the French have been so dominant in it so far? Yeah, I mean, firstly, the boat's a one design, so level playing field, all exactly the same. Um, and the guys have been doing it for 15 to 20 years, the top guys uh, that are winning, winning the Figaro. And they also happen to be the guys moving on into the Vendée Globe and, and winning and podiuming in the Vendée. And is that the big goal for, for you guys, the Vendée Globe? Yeah, for sure. For me, the Vendée Globe is, is the event I'm working up to, is the reason I'm training in the Figaro and uh, hoping to gain experience to move up the ladder and do a, do a Vendée campaign. Great stuff. And uh, we were talking today about really preparation and for those sailors that are moving into or thinking about shorthanded sailing, and there are a lot, I think there's 57 entries two-handed in the fast net this year, what advice can you give in terms of um, setting up the boat and actually sailing it when you're used to sailing with a crew? Yeah, I guess the biggest difference is, is if obviously you've got a lot less hands on the boat, so any time you, uh, you have a problem, things can snowball quickly. So, uh, so being prepared in, in any scenario uh, to be able to react to any given situation, any change in the wind, weather or, or another boat coming um, is key. So having, having all the sheets laid out, prepared, clear in your head what you're trying to achieve, what you're trying to do and try and be a few moves ahead of the game, if you will. How far in advance are you preparing before a race? Um, as early as I can, as soon as I decide I'm, I'm going to do a race. I'm already, already working on the tides, the local wind effects around the course, uh, looking at the time of year, what the wind's likely to be. So running some kind of uh, initial routings to get an idea of different trends. Um, but in terms of live weather, um, kind of only the week before really can you start to get an idea of of what it's really going to be like. How does it compare sailing with, with others and then sailing by yourself and which do which you prefer and why? Um, I, love, I love both disciplines. Um, I love you know, sailing as a, as a whole. I think it offers a lot of different challenges doing single-handed, double-handed or, or in a big team. Um, in the dinghy it's very different from a big yacht because you're doing everything. You know, you, you're feeling the wind, you're trimming the sails, you're hiking the boat flat. On a big crude boat, there's a, there's a lot of other people to do a lot of that for you, including a, a nice lead, lead bulb on the bottom of the boat. Um, I guess part of the reason I like the Figaro is because it is quite like a dinghy. It's, you are doing everything. You are trimming the sails. You're very much uh, doing everything in the boat. So the boats are designed for short-handed sailing. Uh, there is a 260 litre water ballast, uh, fairly high aspect ratio keel, uh, twin rudders and, and the boat's laid out very much for single-handed or short-handed sailing with access to everything very quick and easy. The whole training, the whole uh, eight months or what have you of training I do, all I'm trying to do then is, is find the basic settings for the boat and uh, be able to repeat them during a race when I'm obviously fatigued three days in on leg three of the Figaro. So the marks really help me to, to kind of get to the basic setting as quickly as possible out of attack out of a jive through any given condition. That's not just the sails, it's the, it's the rudders, it's the rig, it's the autopilot, it's, uh, it's everything. The autopilot is my best friend. It allows me to go away to, uh, to have a little sleep if I need, 10 minutes here, or go downstairs, do the navigation, focus on the trimming of the boat, focus on my tactical uh, plan for the race and, uh, and monitor other boats. So yeah, it's, um, but again, it's an extremely comp complex thing that uh, I'm still only just getting to learn. And the more comfortable I can be with the pilot, the more comfortable I can be in the boat, and the more I can focus on trimming the sails, hopefully the quicker I can go. And the pilot can do a, do a pretty good job of sailing the boat pretty well on certain points of sail. Uh, on other points, I have to take the helm and, uh, and do it myself. Thank you very much for, for letting us come on board. Yeah, yeah no worries. Thanks, Alan. Cheers. <laughs>